G'day guys, this is Brent Carter calling in from Wine for the People, obviously, uh, and today we are doing something a little bit different. We found out around about a week ago that it's National Toasty Day this Sunday. So we thought we'd do something a little bit fun. We contacted, got in touch with uh, some of our favorite chefs across the country, and they actually gave to us what they believe is their ultimate toasty recipe. So we thought we'd actually do something a little bit, a little bit fun for this weekend, and maybe the next month, I guess. We're gonna make each one of these toasties, all right? We're gonna rate them based on their crunch and on their milk pool. And then we're gonna give you guys the ability to be able to vote for your favorite one. Even make your own one at home. You'll have all the recipes there available for you. We want you guys to vote on the flavor, what you think is best. We're gonna pick a random winner uh, to win a dozen Esoterico delivered to your door, plus the chef that ultimately wins from basically this, I guess, a, it's like a crowd voting thing, I guess. Um, they're gonna actually uh, receive a dozen uh, Esoterico, basically our, I guess, our most cult followed orange wine. Um, but to do that, we don't really have a kitchen up in um, uh, up at Unicozello, so we needed to borrow a friend's kitchen to be able to do that. And what we've actually gone and done is hooked up with our mate Stephen DeHorse, and he's kindly let us basically commandeer his entire <laughs> entire kitchen here, uh, whilst we've uh, bombarded uh, and and gathered, I guess, a whole bunch of ingredients to make. Uh, I guess we're doing what seven seven of the ultimate toasties. Uh, everyone, Noah. Stephen, thank you very much. But uh, without much ado, we're gonna get straight into it. First up we have the Trilla Cheese by Toast Face Griller from Perth. We have Toast Face Griller first up, and we thought it would be really fun to be able to, I don't know, do a bit of a, 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 I don't know, how do you actually test crunch? I think the easiest way to test crunch is with sound, right? I mean, there's the texture stuff, but we can't do it through smell vision So we thought we'd actually get some high fidelity mics and, and give you the actual sound of the crunch. But uh, Noah's gonna sacrifice first. Can you need to pass me a knife really quickly? You want What do you guys think back at home? What do you reckon of that crunch? We want to know. Oh, minimal melt. Minimal melt. All right, the next one that we have up is uh, from courtesy of Mitch Orr, our mate who has probably the dopest Instagram page when it comes to cooking at home. So definitely chime in. It's, uh, we'll link it up in the description uh, above as well for you guys, but uh, next up. Mitch or with the truffle toasty. Next up we have Mitch Orr's Truffle Toasty for the, the crunch and the melt pull test. Mm -hmm. No melt. <gasps> Must not have used enough cheese. Next time, 
Next time, more cheese, I swear. <laughs> All right, next up we have a, a bit of a twist actually on the last one. A bit of a twist on Mitchell's uh, coming in from the guys, our friends out of Proof in Adelaide. Uh, we've got, it's like, a, it's like a cheesy truffle toasty. A little bit, a little bit of both, a little bit of both. Onto it. to do the I want to say it's the scratch and sniff test it's not really, it's, 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 it's the it's the the crunch and pull test uh, on the proof toasty which is was a much more complex recipe uh, than Mitch Orr's uh, truffle toasty this is like a this is like a more mushroom sort of yeah, almost like a creamy, creamy sort of thing this is honestly this place smells freaking awesome but uh, Noah let's do it Oh, it was more like a soft crunch, wasn't it? Ooh. Ooh. I feel that this may be the superior in the melt pool test. That's fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now for the pool test. Oh, look at that. It's a gush. Look at that. Uh, uh, just rip it apart. Go animal style, man. Animal style. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, there's distance. There is some distance there. Oh. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. It's looking competitive, folks. All right, halfway through, we are now going to be jumping onto probably probably the most intricate recipe that we've actually had so far. It comes courtesy of one of the most amazing uh, restaurants actually in, in uh, out of Sydney called Three Blue Ducks. Now these guys do some absolutely outrageous stuff. Um, we didn't exactly film the making of this because we were just kind of like a little bit pressed for time. We was like a bechamel sauce, there was a corn puree, there was crabs, like literal, like we had to like um, uh, pull apart a whole bunch of crabs to get the crab meat. Uh, so we're just gonna do a really cool slow motion montage of, I guess, spooning it out. <laughs> Moving on to our, I guess, our fourth, 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 fourth toasty so far. We've got um, uh, the three blue ducks. The I'm not sure we're gonna the the, the crabby patty. We're gonna call it the crab crabby patty toasty. It's the three blue three blue ducks toasty. Said that ten times in a row. I'm, we're like we're 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 deep into like toasty sort of spirals. Uh, anyway, <laughs> on to the crunch test. Whoa, well, yeah, she's looking crunchy. She's looking crunchy. Right, Noah, give us a crunch. Oh, it seems like the jaffle doesn't seem to have the crunch, but it does seem to pack the filling. Animal style it, bro. Animal style it. It's time for the melt. It's time Honestly, for the this melt thing's ball. lava. I was gonna say, that looks like punishment. <laughs> I'm not doing animal style <laughs> as anything. Oh, oh no. Jeez, yeah, you're not this is out. a good value jaffle. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's what the insides look like here, team. Look, it's not really a stretchy one. It's not a stretchy one. But it's delicious. It's a delicious one. Lava it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're now four toasties deep, and we're going to the fifth toasty. And this was one that we actually did a bit of, bit of research on. We wanted to be able to, you know, have a bit of a past standard. It can't all be Aussie chefs. You know, we, we've got to sort of look a little bit broader, and we actually found that there's probably this, this, a, a, a famous toasty that was made famous by, by a movie, actually. The chef. Chef Arguably movie. the greatest food movie of all time. I, I would say that it's definitely up there. It'd be definitely top three at least, yeah. for sure. So we thought we would actually, we, we scoured the internet and actually managed to find a couple of recipes. It turns out that they actually openly published the recipe. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided we're actually going to have a crack at making it ourselves and seeing it in comparison. Slam dunk, are you ready to meet me? even what? Now we're moving on to the grilled cheese from the movie Chef. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty good. You could, you could wash clothes on that. <laughs> <laughs> what a niche joke. <laughs> Alrighty, oh. mate, are you ready? Crunch. Jeez, so the simplest fast. things. Animal style, animal style, animal. Ah, oh, that's a, that's a smart way to do it. The pool. The oh. Oh, it's actually. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Give us a look. Look at that. Man, the simplest things, guys. Maybe people are overthinking this. Do you reckon people overthink the toasty? Definitely. The toasty is definitely. Dude, there's four different kinds of cheese on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it's still thought about. It's pretty freaking cool to be honest. That was that was one of the easiest easiest cheese toasties I've ever seen, uh, and uh, especially in consideration of all the others that we've done so far. That's that's been absolutely nuts. So, I'm 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 putting in for. I reckon this is going to be my vote so far. But up next, we're going to roll with our own creation. The, and do you want a toasty? So we just realized that, that that looked genuinely bad, like like really, really, really bad. But I'm gonna throw it in the video anyway, just to see if you guys react. <laughs> We are back on the last and final of our savoury toasties. We have something fun coming up in a second, but uh, this is the Enduya Wana Toasty based on Enduya, the spreadable salami, the really uh, amazingly, oddly disgusting thing that we just showed everyone, <laughs> everyone in the video just before. Uh, but now it's time for the scratch and sniff test, the crunch and pull test. Ooh, how's it sounding, gents? It's sounding pretty good. It's sounding pretty good. It's pretty promising. It would be it would be very unfair if this were to be the, the winner, I think. But Come on. it's a spicy toasty. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that was oh, oh no way! He's tugging. Oh my goodness. Come on. You gotta <laughs> That is spastic. <laughs> That's incredible. That is, okay, I'm just saying that so far, <laughs> regarding full text, this is a bit of a winner. Are you gonna animal style it? Or are we gonna like just a bit of a, 
Yep, bit of a stab, stab, stabberoo there. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna say that's that's pretty good. That's that's. And what is that, Noah? What was that? That uh. Ah, uh, just a uh, good old buffalo mozzarella. Buffalo mozz. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep. Mozzarella. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> 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 Steve is going to be chiming in now with uh, his his version of a toasty, which is a sweet style toasty. In fact, he sent me this recipe uh, last week. I'm sure this week. It was only a couple of days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was making you run for it. Boy. And I was I was immensely excited to see how this is going to turn out because I've never actually experienced a toasty as like as a sweet thing ah, before. Yeah, yeah. And, for and sure. I anticipate this. There's salted caramel in this. Oh, there is a, dec a decent amount decent as well. Amount, yeah. I, I anticipate that uh, Steve may be in the run to win the milk <laughs> pool uh, competition uh, regarding this. But um, all right, we're going to give it a good solid go. Let's do it. Let's crack in. So we're moving on to Steve's super sweet, super awesome, uh, I guess what we call this, what are we, what are we calling this? Is it the chocolate and... Salted chocolate? caramel, banana. Toasty thing. Happiness. <laughs> right, let's do it. Bread cake. Oh, I reckon we're gonna have, uh, are we gonna have the crunch test? It smells amazing. <laughs> what, thank you sir. Yes. Very much so. Getting that. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. Pretty good. Pretty good. He's <laughs> <laughs> gone. Ah, ah. He's he gone. He loves it. <laughs> All right, are we get, let's let's do the pull apart. I'm 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 so fascinated to see which uh, was it was it it was on one half was chocolate ganache, yeah. and the other half was salted caramel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. All right. I'm gonna see more of a leak than a pool. Oh no! Oh no! My theory, my theory has proved wrong. I don't think it matters when it's this. No, it doesn't. Care. <laughs> it doesn't care. He's out. <laughs> Sweet. Ready. All right, guys, thank you so much for chiming in. I hope you enjoyed uh, that uh, sneaky little montage. And of course, thank you so much for the chefs that submitted all of their recipes. Uh, they are all actually listed on the Unico Zello website uh, that you can actually go out and actually vote uh, for. Remember, you're not just voting for your favorite recipe, you are also voting for your favorite chef, the favorite venue. Uh, particular thanks uh, to Noah today, of course, and Steve for giving us full run of your entire <laughs> kitchen. You have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's, it's been it's been pretty like it's been pretty debaucherous. It's, been, be it's, it's been, been pretty hectic. hectic. Mate, thank you so much, and thank Pleasure. you so much, of course, for for your recipe, always, uh, which always. we devoured. Probably the quickest out of all of these in, re in respect. But um, guys, thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you back on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. Uh, you know when our daily live streams are going on. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying some toasties for National Toasty Day. Have a good one.